if we're going to ask for feedback, we have to make sure that we choose the right moment, which is that first tip, right? Because so often we are in our own frame of mind and we're not paying attention to what's going on in the surroundings around us. And we just want what we want when we want it. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that inherently. But if we're not choosing the right time to ask for feedback, then we might get backlash instead of feedback, right? And we don't want that because that's not going to help us. So if you're in the middle of doing 15 things and I am working on a Canva template for our community and I say, hey, Austin, can you stop everything you're doing? Because right now I need this from you. Can you give me feedback right now? That's probably not the optimal time to be asking you. Yes, I need your feedback right now. But you're not in a position to just stop everything and provide me that feedback. So it's up to me if I truly desire the best feedback from you to look for a time when it's optimal for you and still optimal for me to request that feedback, not just force my way into the middle of what you're doing to ask for that feedback, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And one of my favorite things is, even though we work next to each other, <laughs> we <do. laughs> which we do, <laughs> and, um, and we're constantly talking to each other in that sense, but you know, if we have headphones on or we're, we're focusing on, on something uh, and we're not like physically communicating, like talking, um, you know, you'll send me a text or something, right? And it's just like, instead of it being like, hey, right now, do this, <laughs> you know, you know, give me that feedback. It's, it's, you know, hey, when you have time today, it would be really great if you could help me with this or give me your feedback on this. Is this in alignment with what we're looking for, for example? And so it gives me the space to not feel rushed and lash out back at you or something like that. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm right in the middle of something and here you are, you know, asking for something and it's like, it's not being aware of my time. And then if I don't give, you know, the expectation of what the feedback should be in the way that it may be like, there's expectation on the way it should be given, yeah. then it, it starts to create this snowball effect of negativity. And, and then in the feedback, this, the situation of feedback, which is designed to help and grow and support, ends up being something that creates the opposite experience for both you and I, right? And so I think, unfortunately, a lot of us get into that position. Um, and so this simple approach is why I love this tip. And I love it's like first one, it's just being aware and, and just saying, okay, well, it doesn't have to be right now. And, you know, if I was open right now in that moment that it happened to be, which has happened before, it's like, boom, I can get right on it and I'm right there. But I don't feel pressured. I don't feel pushed. And, and then, you know, I'm, it allows me to give the time that you desire to fully support you in what you desire. And so then it's a win-win for both of us. And then we can provide that. And so you can receive knowing it's coming from a place of love. And I can share knowing that it's coming from a place of love. And then that way it can really be the best version. Yeah. And it's not easy to wait sometimes when you're putting yourself out there, right? If I'm, and I'll keep using the Canva template, like I've created this thing and I'm, here's my creation. Yeah. I want you to look at it right now. Right now. What do you mean I have to wait hours before? Or maybe I am up against a deadline and I need that focus right now. But if you don't have the time, to provide that focus, that doesn't limit me. Then I look for somebody who may have the available bandwidth in the time that I need in order to review it. So I don't need to feel pressured or limited by what I need to have done. And that's something else that we need to be willing to look at is, okay, if I do need feedback on a work project, then what other resources or avenues do I have? If Austin is the only person who can review this, then I need to make it clear to Austin, look, I am up against a deadline and I apologize that I pushed it to this point, but if you would like to provide feedback, then 
here is the deadline. And then I've made it clear and concise that we're up against a deadline and you get to choose. Then I'm not forcing you to give feedback. I'm providing you a window to give feedback. And that changes the framework too. Then you're not feeling like, oh, if I don't give her feedback right now, then she's going to be mad at me. It is, okay, I know she has this deadline. If I get her feedback, great. If I don't, that's okay too. And we just go out with what we have. Exactly.